Sonic Frontiers is looking real nice right about now, and I know we're all very excited to get our hands on the game. But, looking back at every other 3D Sonic game within the last decade, kind of misses or misses for the most part. Generations was quite a great tribute to the franchise, it was a step in the right direction after Sonic Colors. And then they released the least talked about 3D Sonic game, Sonic Lost World. Seeing as I had played almost every single 3D Sonic game aside from Lost World, I was hoping it would be great considering it wasn't Sonic Boom Riser Lyric, and I can say this much, it's better than Sonic Colors Ultimate. So I went ahead and booted up the game for the first time and began playing. This game goes as followed. Sonic and Tails are once again chasing down Eggman, who has a capsule of critters, and like the madman drops into their death, Sonic fails in catching the capsule, and the critters fall to their death, never to be seen again. Sonic and Tails are then shot down by Eggman and find themselves having to land on a mysterious island called the Lost Hex, which is where the rest of the game takes place. Rather having Sonic and Tails land together, you're just plopped straight into the first level and immediately the game gives off Super Mario Galaxy vibes, but if Super Mario Galaxy was made in Unity, was given the controls of the Atari 2600. In some areas, it can feel great to control, precise timing, it can feel great, but in other places it can feel like a slog, Mainly in the 2D areas. I have a big problem with the 2D areas in the Sonic games. Oh, you suck. You suck. What? Oh my god. Alright. After running through the first level, which for once isn't Green Hill Zone, we cut back to Eggman, meeting with the new antagonist of the game, the Deadly Six, which consists of the Suicide Squad, Off-Brand Waluigi, Master Ugwe, Zavar, Big Chungus, and my future wife. Going into the second level, we get our first encounter with one of the Deadly Six, off-brand Waluigi, and for some reason, each zone on the second level, we get a small fight as a teaser for what's to come later. But as it stands, most of them are as easy as ever. With the case of off-brand Waluigi, all you do is jump sh under his yellow sun face thing and jump at him twice and you are done. It's that easy. And he's dead. Moving on to the third level, it takes place inside a giant cave tunnel that reminds me a lot of the slide levels in Super Mario Galaxy 2 but you get free range to move around. In terms of depth in some of these levels, it's just walk forward and avoid some of the objects, and that couldn't be more apparent than this level. But it doesn't do anything that offensive. Are you kidding me? That's a like game over, just straight up. But there was, oh, okay, look, there was nothing I could have done about that. Next was the fourth and final stage of the uh. first world, which is a fight against off-brand Waluigi, and rather than fighting him on the spot and just taking him out, you have to go on a search for him to a 2D zone to fight him, which I don't really see why they couldn't have just made it a 3D fight right there, but anything to pad out the playtime really. Once you do eventually reach him, the premise for the most part is exact same as before, except before fighting him, you're getting chased by him with the giant sunball thing, and then you fight him, which once again is as easy as can be. That's it. He's done. This game's made for babies. This game made for babies. With off-brand Waluigi being defeated and Tails playing finally being fixed, we learn a little more about why the Deadly Six and Eggman are working together. Eggman has them under his control thanks to a mysterious shell that is never explained how he got it or why it's mind controlling them. But Eggman literally calls them his slaves and enslaves them to try and take down Sonic and take the energy from the planet to become the most powerful being in the galaxy. But don't mind the deep message about slavery and how abusing your platform for power is messed up. We got critters to save in the second zone. Desert ruins which starts off in a relatively open zone that then leads into a temple that takes up to a very long 2D zone, which if I had to be the one to say it, I will. 2D Sonic zones in 3D games are just bad. And this game just makes it so much more clear to me. The main problem I have with this one, especially is Sonic just doesn't feel good to control in this game, especially in the 2D zone. So this level is an extremely mixed bag of okay level design, doused with basic level design I would expect from Scrat's nutty adventure. What? Yeah, <laughs> what? <Get fucked. laughs> now with that being done, we are shown the second member of the Deadly Six. Who are you calling fat? Oh, it's Big Chungus. His character is just to eat big sandwiches, which somehow becomes a huge part of the plot later on in the story. When we finally get to meet him in the second mission, he has a sandwich so big that Etika would be proud to know it's bigger than 11.9 inches. Believe it or not, being in the desert area, we go from the desert to a beehive. The consistency of these games and its levels is just 
through the roof. Yo. Oh, what the? What the? Okay, great, great, cool. Crash landing. Yo, big jungus. Do we even know his name? All right. All right. All right. Cool. 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 Oh my god. She's. Oh, he's doing the soy phase. Oh hell yeah, bro. Now I just wait for him to land. And done. Does this mean no dessert? It does, bro. No dessert for you. Once fighting Big Chungus and receiving some Reddit. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. I can't do that. We are now in some Candyland with some amazing visual design. And for the most part, by level designers, nothing really significant happens in these levels. It's just another one of them levels that looks like it's in the wrong world. I haven't even pressed the button yet. This is the best. Bro, I feel like I'm playing Sonic Colors, but like actually a good version of it. After getting through that, we finally have our one-to-one -one battle with Big Chungus. And once again, rather than fighting him on the spot, we gotta go to a specific location and beat him up there. Also, one thing I completely neglected to mention was that the Wisp from Sonic Colors return in this game and try to add more spice to the game play. And funny enough, they just don't because they came from Sonic Colors. Getting to Big Chungus, the fight is yet another 2D boss. Which, once again, is disappointing, but this is a 2010 era Sonic game, so I don't know what I'm expecting. Okay, is he gonna get faster? Oh, no. He's just dead. That was it. You know, just when, like, a stage begins to get, like, somewhat okay, it's just like, yep, yeah, we're done. We're done here. Once taking that big chungus, we meet back with Eggman once again, being very disappointed with his slaves and uses his shell thing to try and kill them using mustard gas. But then, in hero fashion, Sonic comes through to save the Deadly Six and frees them from slavery. Yo! He's so cool. But to his dismay, destroying the horn was bad and now the Deadly Six take over Eggman's plans and tries to kill Sonic, Tails, Eggman, and the robots in the process, forcing them to retreat to the next zone, Tropical Coast. This is a goofy I'll run. <laughs> yeah, have you seen his run in the old Sonic games? No. Go look up um, Sonic Eggman Rule 34. Yeah, I'll put up like a picture of um, like just Sonic Rule 34, but just like blur it. Oh, yeah, but they'll fart really loud. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the first mission starts off in a beach type area. The mission reminds me from a visual standpoint that one beach mission in Super Mario Galaxy. Of all the penguins with the way the water in the opening is just kind of there for some reason. In terms of level design, well, to say the least, with this level. It just kind of feels like the first level that it just oh, is a long path suck. with some platforming. You which suck. seems to be quite a similar what? formula for the rest of the game, I'm guessing. Oh. But getting through that level, now with Deadly Six now being free, we are introduced to the third Deadly member of the Deadly Six, I Master Uwe. Which supposedly is the oh. master of the Deadly Six, even though the game tries to make Zavok the main leader. He's got the force? Oh, hell yeah. All right, this is gonna be, he's gonna be a good boss battle. I can already tell her. I got a good feeling about this. Anyway, the next yeah, mission is using lenders to cut up apple slices to create trails to get you to the next areas. And for once, there isn't a 2D zone in this area, making this zone objectively the best zone in this game thus far. Wait, but see, now I wanna see what happens. Nothing stopped me from going just straight into the boss. <laughs> what? Alright. If I instantly die, I, fu I fucking- I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> I should've hit the checkpoint! Approaching the boss itself, the boss really said, Yeah, let me go on the same island as a blender, Where's using an apple is. as traversal, and honestly, if there wasn't a blender, the game ends here. <laughs> Oh, what is that move, bro? That's so degenerate. He's trying to escape. Oh, he did. And I won. Well done. He's already dead. That was so hard, bro. I was worried I was... 
I was worried I was going to beat it too easily. The next level, for some unknown reason, was one of the most challenging <laughs> levels for me. And not because it was hard, but because this game has some complete BS mechanics and just some unfair moments, which is a quite consistent thing in this game. Like, come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> 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 it just fucking stopped. <laughs> it just... It's... F oh, oh! Did you jump I it? did. Why did you miss the booster? <laughs> That's you shouldn't have missed the booster. Yeah, lesson learned. <laughs> oh, f <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Bloody <laughs> <laughs> booster! What? I went through it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. Wait, what's this? Looks <laughs> 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 like you didn't need those lives. Okay, uh, but if I don't even move here, I'll be fine. Of course. <laughs> of course. Why does he like? Do you see his like? Do you see that kind of like really jitters? Jittery, yeah. yeah. Oh, I hate that. That feels gross. Good job at the end. And now we are back fighting Master Uwe once again. And can you take a guess what the final boss is going to look like? Yeah, well, it's the exact same as before, but this time he has a sort of shield bubble fruit thing around him. Ah, <laughs> he's dead. I just beat the boss. Now we move on to World 4, Frozen Factory, which takes place in, well, in a frozen lands of the Lost Hex. And for some reason has a casino area in the midpoint of the zone for some reason. But then the game introduces... Huh. Oh, okay. Oh my god. I I would. I would. I'd say you got the right girl for the job. Oh my god. Why is Harry just message me? I just I just look at Discord and I see Harry just type Oh my god hey <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, he's got the same mentality. I, respe I respect the hustle. This mission is quite miserable as it brings up another example of bad controls in the game. The mission in itself reminds me of that one mini game from New Super Mario Bros. DS's bunch of mini games, but minus the fun, the touchpad controls, which probably explains why this game was on the Wii U for as long as it was. In this mission, we also get the joy of fighting her, which is described by me as that level from Mario Galaxy 2. And after defeating her in this mission, she says this. You gotta go. Call, me. Call you? Oh, say less, man. Say absolutely less. Now we are finally at the casino level, which for the most part reminded me of Sonic Generation's casino DLC and Sonic Adventure's Casino Mission. Except this one's actually functional and kind of underwhelming as well. For being one of the best theme stages in the game, it just could have been so much more. It just feels like every single 3D mission so far. That's how my bank account's gonna look frozen when I'm done with this. Oh my god, okay. Right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right, 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 right. Hang on. We're moving along. Mission four as oh, mama. Oh. Move it or lose it, snow cone. The last time we met, you ruined my nail art. Now I have to reapply a whole new coat. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Mm -hmm. I'm so, so, so. I am sorry. so sorry. Oh well, in that case. Oh, oh, no, oh. What I meant to say is, I'm so sorry that you have nothing more important to do in life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love Sonic, bro. He he has so much game, but he just knows it. Like he knows he he knows his main goal, and she ain't part of it. Literally, Sigma Mel grinds I love Sonic. What an absolute like absolute giga chat. 
Going through the stage once again, a 2D side scroller is very fun, but the boss is somehow the easiest mission probably in the game. Now you wouldn't hurt a lady, would you? Uh, yeah, I would. No way, is this it? That's it? That's it? Bro, this boss sucked. That, that sucked. That actually sucked. The actual stage was harder. And so was I, but, you know. The Silent Forest is honestly one of my favourite areas in the base game of Sonic Lost World. In the context of theming and the overall vibe. But as far as the first level goes, it's the exact same as the first mission of the game. Long cylinders and some platforms, and while this isn't a problem in concept, it does get a little repetitive after the second time you've seen it. But on a more interesting note, the bad guy of this zone is the leader of the Suicide Squad. Anyway, we can skip all the levels if I'm being honest and just talk about the final level of the zone. Somehow... This is when I began to realize that the controls of this game were starting to show the ugly side of themselves. Are you- WHAT?! As in this level, it's just horrible to move in. It's just horrible to move Sonic in 2D areas. If it wasn't obvious, I just don't like 2D zones from 3D Sonic game. If you want to learn more about this stuff, uh, search up Sonic Inflation. The boss itself is just, once again, so easy it's not really worth mentioning it at all. Oh, shadows! Oh my, they're, they're wasting so much time. That stage was ridiculous, and I went in like that. One thing I glossed over in terms of the story, Sonic and Tails keep getting into fights as Tails was neglected by Sonic. So with Sonic being who he is, sees an empty vault and goes close to it, and it turns out it's a trap, and Tails moves him out of the way just in time, in exchange for himself to go straight to the Deadly Six, meaning Eggman and Sonic and the two robots are all on their own. Lost. The same. And I played the fucking game. But anyway, going into World 6, we are once again given another long cylinder stage with other platforms and introduces a new wisp as only seen in this one world and one game. The Bird Wisp, which as the name explains, turns you into a bird that can fly for a temporary amount of time. I just wish it was used more than once in the game, especially this late as well. The mission also has a big worm thing that crashes in the ground but creates little earthquake things. But they are slow and easy to avoid. Believe it or not, there is a second mini boss in this zone. That is in a 2D zone where you jump on clouds and hit rockets. Back to the robotic turtle. And it's as simple of a mini boss as I described it. Next mission is our first interaction with Zavok. Hello. And if I'm being honest, the fight is whatever. But I just kind of popped off during the way to get to the boss fight. That I actually managed to 100% the stage. And it's funny enough, the only time 100% the stage in this game. See how easy this is, Harry? At least you can make these jumps, though. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm doing it. What? Oh, oh. Another jump is saving your way. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm kind of popping off. Oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Oh. oh my god. Oh my gritty aunt. The fight against Zavok though is just a little buggy. You can't stand on the round parts of the worm thing he uses, but sometimes you can stand on it. Once again, it's just the quality of this game shining its ugly head. But once you beat him, we move on to the stage where we are not flying, but falling with style. Where we have to avoid a bunch of odd oh, coming well, enemies <laughs> and kill a giant <laughs> robot chicken thing. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Enticing gameplay. Now, we have our big fight with Zavok. Yeah, that last fight wasn't a real fight, just a test to show our gangster. But with all of our friends dead, it only leaves me versus Zavok. And what a better thing to do than go for an entire 2D section and fight Zavok in a 2D zone, I know. How fun. Now, in terms of boss fight, I'm just gonna let the footage speak for itself. Really? What the f- What the f- Bro, he got up, man. He's he can't going. do that shit. Yo, what? No, oh, never mind. Juked him off. Oh. Okay. 
It's not just- it's, there's like no indication of what I'm meant to do at all. Oh, wait, hang on. Huh? Hmm? You can do my that the whole time? My brain just like suddenly like turned on and realized, hang on, I can kick. Okay. Fuck. This <laughs> 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 is the slowest punch in the world. Okay, no, I get it now, I get it. Alright. Okay, so that should not have been as complicated as I thought it was. There you go, get him. <laughs> oh my god. What? Are you k- What? He was defenseless! Harry, I think you best get on Jack's house and just do it for him. <laughs> it was a G.I. Jane joke. My control just disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> my- Ma! Can't do this to me mid-game! Oh, I just had to wait. That was it. I had to wait. That's so Jack. stupid. Why are you playing Sonic, Jack? I've been playing it for like the last four hours, Ewan. Why? What do you think? It's Sonic. So, after beating Zavok, we are shown the Deadly Six with Shit. tails strapped to a death chamber what and turning him into here? a slave robot to try and kill Sonic and Eggman. But since Tails is Tails, he dies. Yeah. He's gone, he's, he's out of the game though. You, we don't see him again. Ooh, Catching back up with Sonic and Eggman, well, they're in the right final right. area of the game, the Lava Zone, where off-brand Waluigi and Big Chungus are throwing giant boulders at the two heroes, and the giant bridge they're standing on breaks, and believe it or not, Eggman sacrifices himself to save Sonic, and he fucking dies in the game! If we, we never see him again, a lifelong enemy of Sonic, redeemed in the span of a few seconds. May he rest in peace. God speed to that man. Also, I have to fight Chungus, oh, well, Waluigi, right. and Master Ugo. Why is the fat guy not going off the meatballs? The meteors. Oh, biscuit. That's like. God, Alex, learn the difference between meteors and meatballs. Okay, that's that's. That's a bit. That's a little bit. What? I do. Does. Oh my god, that is so annoying, Nintendo moment, lol. This is Sega. <laughs> yeah, we're saying, you know, we'll blame Nintendo for this. I'm, I'm all for it. What, just whatever you do, Jack, don't fall off. Yeah, don't fall into the lava, which is a complete BS, by the way. Oh, you oh what the? Fuck? That's so unpredictable. <laughs> what? You just get a better prediction I'm time, to you know. Where the thing is supposed to fall? Like, I don't <laughs> know. Oh, Jack, this is just like Fortnite. It is, bro. I'm cranking nice on this kid. Yeah, 40, 40. I did it. Once find the free guys, Sonic is going to dramatically put the intense gaming to a halt and rail on some rails. Oh no. Pro. What the f How are you meant to- yeah, there's bombs there, by the way. Yeah, I'm- a bit slower, Jack. Okay. But I'm Sonic. You missed the extra life, by the way. What the f- <laughs> That was just too much speed, hang on. Yes, but the sound oh, game doesn't do start with an I M. <laughs> Say that. Yes, you did. <coughs> well, that's just cheating. That's actually just cheating. Did you just do a level skip. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, uh, you know what? Whatever. I did it. In my brain, I did it. Is this Bowser's castle? Uh, it's uh, a <coughs> castle. Oh, you just made that. That was crazy. That was so close. I imagine if I didn't make it. Really sweaty. That's why. Those people. People I'm, that they I'm trying. To, I'm trying, you, and I'm really trying. <laughs> No, don't jump. You should have gone around another time, Jackson. I should have. Wait, no, I got it. I got it. Oh. Oh, let's go. No, you missed. Oh. No, I got it. I got it. You missed the one. I don't. I <laughs> <laughs> I live that. I'm going to be honest, I didn't deserve that. I did not in any way, shape, or form deserve live that. <laughs> the fuck is going on? I finally Tango. beat him with five minutes to spare. We freed all of the little birds. Like oh, penguins no. and seals and chickens, fuck. Once Sonic finishes railing the second stage, he is left all alone moving on to fighting Zavok, my future wife, and the leader of the Suicide Squad. Out of nowhere, oh, he's a droid! Oh he my escaped. god, he's a Oh my god! In real! Oh my god, it's Tails, but he's evil! Surely he is really a bad guy and to help Sonic the last second. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what? Who would have thought? Bro, he had what? the burger stick. He had the burger stick. <laughs> that was a burger yes. Stick.
I'm just gonna let the footage play for itself. Why is Tails not going with them? Why is Tails just shot them? Oh, he's too slow. He's got a gun! He's got, he's got, he can fly, I think. She just shot them and then fucked off. I had a game of whack a mole recently, I can't remember what, what game What are you, what? I d honestly, I thought I was, I you could have a You have to hold dash, bro. Oh, of course. Cool. Yeah, but what, you can't read in that, like, a split second time, bro. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Jack, on the top right, you're running out. Oh, Jack. What? Yeah. Death perception! <laughs> <laughs> Not, he lost to Sonic <laughs> and <Blaze. laughs> Bro, my death perception. My death perception messed me up. Get off the walls! No, the lava's he's rising. Do, he's doing way. an Assassin's Creed. He just grabs hold of everything he can. What yeah. the hell am I by, doing? By, by the way, the lava was uh, going up. <laughs> I was oh, trying. I couldn't help but drill. I'm if you do it quicker, you can avoid the lava. Why do you like Nintendo games? <laughs> Games. Yeah, uh, who, who, ever, who ever said that I like this game? Oh, it's a maze! Who would have thought you'd been a maze? That's the hardest maze. That's not a maze, that's a fucking straight line. It's not very straight, even. Is that your idea of straight? What's <laughs> 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 that? Right. No, that isn't, that isn't oh. Bowser's Castle. That's like one of the things. Why is the lava what the stop? <laughs> <laughs> what the f but that's such a basic boss fight. Is there anything else that's different? <laughs> what the fuck? Is that Bro, this is attack? Sonic. You can't look She's dead. Even. She literally blew up. That was she, so bad. She <laughs> and then she died. <laughs> <laughs> what, what can you even do with the coins? The rings? Oh, I'd love oh, That was a little sticky one. Oh, oh, the same no. level again! <laughs> I wonder what was What?! <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, there's another one. one. Life. You have one life, Jack. Wait, no, you have to do this, Jack, you have to do this to try and find out where the balls are coming from. I wonder, I wonder what, what will be at the, um, what will be at the top of this tower, Arthur? Alright. Sonic inflation. Hey, watch out, you're supposed to avoid those platforms, by the way. Sonic inflation. Diagonally, Jack. You don't have to go back and forth. Parasitical? How old is this game? I think they've released it on the Wii U because they didn't have anything else to do. <laughs> it definitely does feel like a Wii U game. Just tell him he's ugly, he'll kill himself. <laughs> I'm with the Suicide Squad! <laughs> you have no friends. Oh. Oh, you gotta oh. fight him on platforms! Oh my god, keep him up. Him <laughs> no, just keep him running away, Jack, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be a limit to how tall this level is, right? Apparently not, yeah. Why is it purple all? Oh, I got another life. What? Yo! Look it's cheating! Do it. wow. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Alright, oh, sure. I fucking burned him! <laughs> Murderer! Yo, now you should be able to play the last level. Mate, they're all performing on spike straps. No, so. don't save the last slot, just get your yeah, fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, your whole purpose is to save them. Oh, well, I saved enough of them. The red large guy? It's the red guy. No, it's the red guy, yeah. Yeah. Let's put an end to this. Bowser's Castle. I'm gonna beat you. <laughs> Whoa. What? Okay. Oh, no, I, am, I, did, I, didn't, I didn't realize. I didn't realize that's what it was gonna be. Wait, what the H? He's, <gasps> he's down! Oh my god, yeah. Jack, you did it. You landed on the cubes as well. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, he's gonna reach you up there. What? What, what? what the hell? <laughs> Why has he got so large? Because he took Viagra! Probably really good like this game. Steroids. Jack, you're gonna get a cube. You get every cube. You'll get it. If you don't get it, you lose. Wait. You did it. What? I did it. <laughs> 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 Alright. Anyway, now that we've beaten Sabok and his goons, the game's now officially done. Not like Eggman's gonna come back for some unknown reason. Whoa! Oh my god, it's him! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Turns out he didn't actually die, but instead his coat has just some secret button that activates a jackpack, and it saved them and the robots as well. They're okay. Of course, he's just got a jetpack there. Who would have thought? You literally could have let Sonic die. You could have killed Sonic. <laughs> and wow, if I had to be honest, this. Boss fight is really boring. It feels exactly like the Sonic Forces fight, and it feels just the same as the Sonic Cars fight, but so much more basic. Do 
comes to it. It's just like this cheery music, like, right before the final mission. Oh, here we go. I hope you went out of lives. I've been banned from using Google. All I've got is ask could you use. How have you been banned from Google? <laughs> what the hell was I meant to do there? Was I just meant to jump? Apparently. Oh, just, got him! Made him trip! Uh, Sonic penis size. <laughs> I wanna know how Yo, that. got him! Oh! Right in the cock! Right in the balls! I should have known that Eggman would be the final boss. Oh! Low, got him. Yo! It's easy. Now he's pissed. Oh! Oh, it's a lot fast. faster now. Oh, oh. faster! Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta do it all the way from the start. Zero lives, lol. I, I only need one. Oh. 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 Alright, alright, we're good, we're good. Easy. Beat him up, Jack. Easy as piss. Uh, ba boink! <laughs> oh, what? oh my god, he's gone! He blew up! Oh wait, I did it. That was it. And that's the end of the game? I think he so. He saved your life, he did. <laughs> I know, and I killed him. Honey, why isn't my jetpack working? Maybe because I borrowed the exhaust hose? <gasps> uh oh. No! He's actually dead. Him. He's truly dead this guy. <laughs> Maybe he'll end he's not coming back the next game. He's not coming back the next game. What the hell are they doing? Is that, ah, is that this Wii U graphics? He just, he j he just shows up to fucking die. <laughs> oh, bro, they're bringing back all the energy. Oh, they got the Earth energy. Look at those Wii U graphics. Look at those Wii U custom <laughs> graphics. It's Minecraft. Look at the leaves. Oh, fucking Terraria. And why the, the, the tree oh, of no, the that's a Roblox tree of five in this one. <laughs> <laughs> why are they cubes? Oh, I get it. Wii U graphics. I wrapped this up sooner, but, uh, why is the lighting so bad as well? <laughs> Dust particles. Is that not uncomfortable to be a hedgehog and lie down like that? Like, we're just in the middle of fucking nowhere. With the cube trees. <laughs> Is that yeah, it? That's it. Like it. That's oh, it. Shit. Yay! Yeah! Not an epic yep. conclusion. There's no music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, no. da -da -da -da. And so, that was the story of how I beat Wii Sonic Lost World, so you don't have to. One more thing this game has to offer that was exclusive to the Wii U version, which I never got the chance to play, was the downloadable content for this game, which consisted of a Yoshi Woolly World level and a fully 3D open Zelda map. And I honestly, from the footage I've seen online, the Zelda level seems to be one of the best levels in all of Sonic. And Sonic gets his own unique outfit for the level, that's so cool! And you can find chests that give you 1-ups, and it has Zelda enemies that Sonic fights, and even the boulders of Gorons! And that's just super awesome, and look! It's Link himself! It's just such a shame that it's only on the Wii U version, but the problem is, I don't have a Wii U, and no, I'm not gonna go buy one to play this level, I'm sorry. If Nintendo decides to grow up and let me, at the very least, buy this DLC on the PC version, I would be more than fine paying the extra amount for it. So yeah, at the end, this game is okay. Uh, with all that in mind, and the game finally coming to a close, my conclusion is just wait for Sonic Frontiers to release. <laughs>